Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this is uh, mid-chapter 7, Checkpoint. So it's just kind of like a pre-test for the first half of chapter 7. Chapter 7 is a big chapter, so this goes up through, I think, 7, 6. So this is on division facts and strategies. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And we're just going to go over the kind of methods that we uh, did on solving division problems. So this one says, explain how to find 12 divided by 4 by making an array. Okay, well, an array was, well, we can place uh, 4 rows of tiles. So here's one row. Here's... Here's four rows, so uh, one, two, three, four. Remember, rows go like this, okay? Rows go sideways, columns go up and down. So here's one row, two row, three row, four rows. So four rows of tiles, and we place one tile in each of the four rows until all 12 tiles are placed. So here's uh, one row of four, one, two, three, four. Here's another row of four, so we'll count it here as five, six, seven, eight. Finally, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we have all 12 tiles placed. So 12 divided by 4, and then you just count how many are in each tile. There's 3 in each tile. So then uh, 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So that's how we can use an array. Okay, so explain how to find 24 divided by 6 by making equal groups. All right, well, what we can do here is uh, make 24 counters. So here's 24 counters, the blue dots right here. And then we can circle as many groups of this number right here. So circle as many groups of 6 as we can. So here's 6 counters, here's 6 counters, here's 6 counters, here's 6 counters right here. And then we count the number of groups that we circled. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 24 divided by 6 equals 4 because there's 4 groups of 6. Okay, so that's how we can make equal groups. Find the unknown factor and the quotient. Okay, so this says uh, 10. 10 times what number equals 50? And remember, uh, multiplication is uh, the inverse or the opposite of division. So whatever that number is, is going to be the same as 10 divi or 50 divided by uh, 10 right here. Okay, so um, uh, remember this method is we can subtract uh, 50 divided by 10. We can subtract 10 from 50, keep subtracting 10 until we get to 0, and then count how many times we subtracted 10. Okay, so 50 minus 10 is 40. So there's one time we subtracted 10. So we'll subtract 10 again. So 40 minus 10 is 30. All right, so we subtract 10 again. 30 minus 10 is 20. We want to get to 0. This is the third time. Here's the fourth time subtracting 10. Finally, it took us five times to subtract 10. So uh, 5 is going to be equal to 50 divided by 10, or 10 times 5 equals 50. And you guys probably already knew that, you guys. 10 times 5 equals 50. Okay. Uh, and then other ways is you can use number lines, you guys. So here's 50 divided by 10 right here. Start at 50 and go backwards and jump down by 10s. So here's one jump of 10, two jumps of 10s, and we want to get to zero. Three jumps, four jumps, and finally, on the fifth jump, it takes us to zero. So, so 50 divided by 10 is equal to 5. It took us five jumps. And then when we multiply, we go to the right. So we start at zero. And we go by, here's times 10, 1 times 10, 2 times 10, 3 times 10. I'm just jumping by 10 to the right. 4 times 10, finally, 5 times 10, because we're doing it uh, 5 times 10 right there, gave us uh, 50 right there. So you can use a number line to jump by 10 also. Remember doing that? Okay, so find the unknown factor in the quotient. Okay, 2 times what number equals 20? Okay, well, if I just have a, add a 0, 2 times uh, 10 would equal 20 right there. Okay, 5 times what number? Uh, equals 20. All right, so I'm going to fives. I count by fives. Do you guys know how to count by fives? Five, ten. All right, and I'm going to use my fingers and count how many times I get to 20. Okay, so I'm going to. Here's the first one. I have my thumb up. Five, and then ten. Now I have a finger up. Thumb and a finger. Fifteen, twenty. So it took me four fingers. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We did four times. So five times four equals 20, and four divided. Uh, four equals 20 divided by five. Okay. All right, so find the quotient. So what number is the same as 8 divided by 8? Well, since these numbers are the same, any number divided by itself just equals 1. That's nice and easy, okay? And then 36 divided by 4. All right, so here I did it uh, with 36 different counters right here. There's all kinds of ways we can do it. We can do the number line and, some, and uh, jump backwards by 4s. How many times do we jump back by 4s to get to 0? Uh, we can do the subtraction. We can do the array. So um, here I did the counters again. So uh, there's 36 blue dots right there. And then I circled groups of four. And then how many groups of four did I circle when I did that? And there were nine of them all together. So 36 divided by four equals nine. 
Okay, remember doing all of that? All right, so 5, um, here this says um, uh, 35 divided by 5. Okay, let's use our fingers. I'm going to pull it here. I'm gonna, here we go. 5, so I have my thumb up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I have 7 fingers up. So 5 goes into 35 7 times. Where am I going to put that 7? Am I going to put it on top of the 3 or on top of the 5? It's going to go right up here because it goes into 35. 5 doesn't go into 3, it goes into 35. So you put it at the last digit right there, okay? So 5 goes right there. Okay, 6 goes into 54. All right, so one way we can do this is, here's the other way we did this. We did factors of 6. Factors of 6 are 2 and 3. I'm out in my truck right now because uh, my teacher's teaching in my classroom. So you hear a car honking in the background. Sorry. All right, so factors of 6 are 2 and 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. So instead of doing 54 divided by 6, we can do 54 divided by uh, 2 first, and then whatever that is, 54 divided by 3. Okay, so 54 divided by 2 is just like taking half of 54. Well, that's 27, and then pick up with 27. 27 divided by uh, 3 is equal to 9. So, so 54 divided by 6 is going to be the same as when we went through this chain of events. It's going to be 9 because 2 times 3 equals 6. So we just uh, did it in partial factors right there. Okay? We didn't like that way. You can do the number lines or you can do the groups with 54 counters. Or you can do array. All kinds of ways to do this. All right. So here we go. Austin has 18 new magazines. He plans to read three of them each week. So how many weeks will it take Austin to read all of his new magazines? Okay, so this is a division problem. That's what this whole chapter is. We're looking for 18 divided by 3 right here. Okay, so um, uh, I did a number line on this one right here, and I started at 18, and I jumped back by 3s. Okay, so 18 minus 3 is 15. So there's one jump of 3s. And then another jump of 3s is going to take me down to 12. I want to get to 0. Another jump of threes is down to nine. Another jump of threes is nine minus six is six. Or sorry, nine minus three is six. And then six minus three is three. Three minus three is uh, zero. So it took us six jumps. So it's going to take Austin six weeks to read his 18 magazines. All right. Danielle has uh, five teachers to bring cookies to. She has 30 cookies. And we'll give each teacher the same number of cookies. So how many cookies will Danielle give to each teacher? All right, so this one is uh, 30 divided by 5. And I'm going to do an array on this one. So I'm going to do rows of 5. So there's one row of 5. And I'm just going to keep counting the tiles until I get to 30. So there's five um, uh, thir uh, tiles right there, which are, stands for the cookies. There's um, uh, 10, so I'm 5, 10. There's 15, 20, 25. 30 so it took us and you just count how many rows of five we got so here's one row of five here's one row of five I'm sorry how many are in each row there are six count uh, tiles in each row so there would be uh, each teacher is going to get uh, six cookies okay all right let's do this one real quick and yum yum I love cookies by the way Chocolate chips are my favorite. All right, uh, find uh, the correct answer. And then, so Sandra has saved $60 so far. She saves $10 a week. Which equation could be used to find the number of weeks it took her to um, save that $60? Okay, would it be 60 minus 10? No, because that's uh, that. The, it, this is a division problem. So it's not going to be blank plus 10 equals 60. It's going to be this one right here. 60 divided by 10 would tell us how many weeks it took her to do that right there. So it's choice C. This is the division chapter right here. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And take care. I hope you're having a good time in your math.